the tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the fragment filter. Now, it's one of these filters that really has very little sort of options. Well, actually, no options. <laughs> you just basically apply it, and it does just a little bit of averaging, and you get the result. Now, that's fine, but you can. And I'm just going to show you a few ways of creating some more slightly interesting effects from that. And that's just, you can use layers, you can uh, use obviously images, and here I've just got uh, some type. And filter, you can just go and find that in pixelate and fragment. So just apply it once and you can see the effect there. But what you can do, you can use channels. That's uh, that's what it's in, go to say like red. Obviously not gonna be much use with that one because it's obviously blue. So just gonna go for green and apply a fragment. So you can actually apply it few times, say five or six or seven or eight, and then you can go to the blue and you can apply it a couple of times. So just apply the numbers, so say 10 for red, five for green, etc. Obviously depending on the actual image. So if it's a sort of normal photograph, it will be easier. So you can then go to RGB and you can see a subtle difference in the actual result. So it's not just using it straight away just as RGB. Now, you can also use it with, I'm just gonna go up here to, so flat, obviously I've flattened image there. So now go to the filter and again, pixelate and fragment, and you can go to fade fragment. So straight away you can use fade, and you've also got the options for darken and multiply. So there's a whole range of different creations you can actually create. You can create some very interesting text effects, as well as obviously image effects as well. Another option as well is just to go over here and instead of using that, I'm just gonna go to, I'm gonna duplicate the layer. So duplicate that layer, and I'm gonna apply a slight blur as well. So just Gaussian blur, and now, as a layer, where well, you can just go and apply the effect, just go to filter and pixelate and fragment, and maybe apply a couple of times. And of course, as a layer, you can just go over here, and you can say normal darken, and you can again, blend the two, obviously you can then move around. Create some interesting, like maybe shadow effects with the text as well. And of course you can have that as multiply and dodge and so on and so on. There's also many other things you can use it with selection. So we just quickly go over here. And I'm just gonna move that, flatten that, and just go over here, say select that part. And instead of using the whole, just go over to filter and fragment. So you can fragment. And then of course what you can do, you can actually select another area and filter and fragment. And you get slightly different fragmentations over the image. So you can apply it maybe multiple times there. Of course you could use feather and all those things as well. So you can just create interesting sort of textual design. I say you can use it with images as well. I hope this has been of interest. Thank you much.